Hello there everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ashes Afterglow on Apocalypse. This is map 19, Badlands South. Up shit creek, you say. Badlands South is what this map is really called. I'm guessing Up Shit Creek is the name of the section, you know. Shit Creek, sewer, makes sense, right? Well, we are out of uh, Phillips Arena, or I think it's actually called State Farm Arena now. I did look it up, and it turns out that the Thrashers and the Hawks did, in fact, share tenancy of the same stadium. But that level's over. We are now in uh, a street, or a highway that looks like it's in very dire straits. And as you can see, we have another hell of a kill count on us, 149. Not quite as much as uh, the rink, but still pretty high. 43 items and 6 secrets. Well, let's not dilly-dally at all. Let's just get on going. Ooh, a construction yard. I'm sure I can handle this. Now, where we have to go is up this crane, but we're not going to just yet because... Just over here in this here uh, hut, I guess, this house... It's everyone's favorite! Bug doggies! And now they're all gone. Yeah. Five kills there that you can very easily miss. Because this is not a mandatory location. It's entirely optional. But none of these other huts can be opened. It's just that one there. Go ahead and scrounge up some armor scraps. And I believe we're ready to go. Now, when you get on top of here, be careful. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to strafe jump up here. There's a cannibal overseer just down that way. Go ahead and take care of him. We have a bug dog down there. And a manslayer. Our new best friend. Oh, good shot. There we go. Now, there should be one or two more downstairs as well, all the way on the ground floor. But it looks like they haven't... Hmm. Okay, they're not awake yet. I'll take that as a good sign. Because check this out. What's wrong, guys? Can't quite reach me? Can't jump up? Come on. Gotta work for it. Gotta work for it. Alright. Y'all boring me now. You die. And you die too. Whew, that was actually kind of close. Alright. Let's see. Reload my Ingram here, and we are ready to keep going. But, guess what? Another Overseer. Let's see if I can... Get that guy early as well. And take out his bug dog battalion. Ooh, twofer. Always love those. Especially when I get a resupply of shells right after. Okay. So now... I believe the next step is to uh, fall down to the floor. So where we have to eventually get is out that window on top of there, and then we flip a switch which lowers that girder up there which forms a bridge over there. But we can't get up to that window from here, so we'll have to drop down and go the long way. Now there should be, like I said earlier, two cannibal manslayers around here somewhere. Let me take a quick little march around the building here, make sure they're not hiding out. Yeah, see now we're just back here. I have never seen those two manslayers, like that one's always up there, but there's always two down here. Oh goodness! Oh wow, I got stuck on the... and he still barely hit me. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Say cheese! Oh. When I tell you to say cheese, that means die. So please, die. And you also... I said, also, die. There we go. Alright, there should be one more 
Now, there is going to be another Manslayer that's kind of hiding in a, um... A room with nothing in it. Matter of fact, that room is right there. Let's surprise him. Boom! Whew, good thing that actually killed him in one shot. Now, I'm almost positive we're missing one. But I will hope and pray that we do find him before leaving this area. So I have missed a kill in this map before on several occasions, actually, and every single time it ends up being one of these, well, not every time, most times it ends up being one of these stupid Manslayer cannibals. But speaking of cannibals, we have an Overseer. And these guys just, they do not hit bug dogs at all. Their crossbow bolts, bolts always magically miss them. That's okay. That is okay by me. More target practice for me, anyway. Alright, maybe... Maybe I miscounted. Maybe I was thinking there was one more Manslayer than there really was, but... no. Well. We are about to open this area up a lot more, so... Let's see if I can make this jump. Ooh! Oh! So close. Well, you know, while I'm down here, we'll take one more little lap around this place. And make... Positive, not make sure, make positive. That no stone is left unturned and no enemy alive. I see 149 kills. I will not be satisfied until we have 149 kills. Alright. Yeah, this place isn't too complex. I, I guess that is all of them. Works for me. Maybe last time that one Manslayer on that high up platform, he actually circled around and went downstairs instead. I bet you that's it. Anyway, so across this uh, little makeshift bridge here, do not fall down off these just yet because, actually, yeah, no. We're going to jump across these containers, jump into here, flip the switch to raise that giant concrete block into here for secret number one. Junk and a jackhammer, or should I say, a smackhammer. Um, that doesn't fall back down, by the way, so don't worry. You can stay under it as long as you want. Although it is a little bit concerning to do such a thing. Because something like that in real life? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that would not end well. That would crush you like a bug. Um, but I do believe this place is now cleared. And we can jump back to the other side if we want. Now, uh, okay, you're not, okay, no, you're not stuck if you fall, okay, good. I didn't notice those crates over there. Now, if we fall over here, I will have to circle back around, so let's not do that. We shall just advance over to this train. Ooh. Hmm. Nothing out the ordinary just yet. Oh, J. Clux. Well, any build engine fanatics will know what this is. This is the name of a level from a different build engine game. Um, I say that as if this is a build engine game, which it's not. Um, not one of the Holy Trinity, the big three. It is instead a member of the fourth one, Redneck Rampage. Admittedly, one of the few build engine games I have not played. And to be honest, <laughs> I don't really know if I have any urge to play it. Maybe I will at one point. Who knows? There are source ports you can use, so... That is pretty cool. Anyway, um, so this door opens. This door does not. You have to open the uh, that door. Climb on top of the wood here. Cross these open cars down here. Now be careful. Ooh. Hey, what do you want? Big boy. Zilla Enterprises. Oh, another build engine reference. This time Shadow Warrior. Alright, well that's two of the four. Duke Burger. Yep, everyone knows Duke Burger. So that's three of the four. Hmm. Well, surely they can't leave out... Oh, of course not. Old Cabal Co. Blood reference. Which just so happens to be, by the way, secret number two. For some shells and a sawed-off shotgun. Hmm. Fresh victims for the ever-growing armies of the undead. 
Well, that was fun. Now across here, you can go to that dock over there if you want. There's nothing over there. But over here, we have a little optional location. Optional yet not necessarily optional because there are more kills. There's no secrets. But there are more kills in the form of these cuties. I think there's one or two more upstairs, too. Just one. Okay. But, oh, and a Junker Musket. Okay, how many slugs does a musket give you? Six. Not bad at all. And I do believe one of the secrets in this map gives you a um, an ammo bag. But, here's the other reason we stopped over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I just realized I missed something. And I don't think I can go back there from here. But I think we do end up back there later. So that truck with the, the bed of this truck, there's a truck bed in the construction yard, the first area, that actually has three pieces of junk in it, and I totally missed it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but before we do that, is there anything I would like to mod? Yeah, it's quicker to look this way. Let's see. Uh, nah. Nah. Rifles. The M16, you honestly don't even really have to mod. Um, I might, but it, it will not come till later. It's it's honestly powerful enough as is. It does not need it. Um, uh, jackhammer. I could do the other jackhammer, but it's not really needed. No, nope, no. Nope, I am going to... You know what? No. No, 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 no. I am going to... Do the Michonne Ultra. Look at that paint job. Oh, and look at that. There's the 1221. One. And we got our jungle mags. 48 rounds. And you can even see them taped together like that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, that's always worth it. Man, that Ingram looks so badass with that like jet black paint job. So cool. Anyway, we have hung out here long enough. Um, uh, You know what? Let me see if I can go ahead and go back. I think... I think you can get back there from here. I am just not positive. I've never backtracked from here before, so let's uh, find out together. Why not? It's more fun when you do things together. And all the doors can still be open, so you're not, like, locked out, <laughs> which is nice. Ah, yes, you can. All right. Excellent, excellent. Uh, please get me up there, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we want to go... We'll just go this way. It's going to be inside the first gated area where that crane is that we climbed up. That one here. And I believe it's this truck over here. I think I completely ignored it. Uh-huh. Yep. Told you. Only thing is now I have to... Uh, and that, I think, is the other way you can get into here from. We will eventually approach the other side of this gate, which is where it's unlocked from. But for now, I think we have to kind of take the long way back in. Because I don't think... Uh, can these doors even be open? I don't think they can. Although, admittedly, I didn't even try. Hmm. This is why chapters exist. This will be called backtracking or some something or other. But it's not too long of a trek from here. Um, matter of fact, well, let's go downstairs first. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take fall damage if I don't have to. Let's find out for sure if these doors can be opened or not. They cannot. Okay. So. That leads me to believe the doors where those shipping containers are also cannot be opened from the inside. Which seems kind of weird, but hey, it is what it is. Unless, I mean, can you... That doesn't work. Oh, it has no... It doesn't even have collision, technically. You can't shoot it. Oh, interesting. Or a hitbox. Okay, well, that's that then. No big deal. That was about, what, a minute, minute, minute and a half? Nothing too bad. All right, we will just retrace. Oop. We will just retrace our retraced steps and uh, continue on. All right, there's the houses, and now we shall go this way. Oh, you know what? I think this might be. Uh, actually, no, it's not. It's not the other side of the construction yard. No, no, it's not. We're not there yet. I think it's actually at the very end. 
Wildlife Center, now accepting injured and orphaned animals. 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. 678-555 eats. Well, uh, that's a little uh, concerning. Temporary Forever Tours. Well, that's just an oxymoron. And none of these doors can be opened. We have to go around the building. I'm going to get out my shotgun here. I'm about to say boomstick. This is the boomstick. Ooh. You can actually read these signs. Interesting. But. Let's just awake. Or awaken everybody. Oh. There we go. Eat boot knife, punk. Alright, that should be everybody. And this door does not open from down here. You actually have to go up here and flip this. Which leads you to where you have to go. Okay. And then here's where we entered from. You cannot unlock or open this door from here. Oh, there's more junk. Oh. Wow, I totally missed those last time. Okay, well. <laughs> last time when I skipped a few items, I was like, okay, yeah, just like with the gap, it's nothing but first aid kits. But nope, there is some junk there that I actually missed. Not this time. All right, what do these signs say? How many do we have here? I think we have three or four. We can go here, too. Anything over here? Anything at all. Anything interesting whatsoever. Just cool design. Ooh, shells. All right, I didn't come in here last time, either. I must have completely missed it. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Trash Panda. Oh, my God. Wow, this text is... Oh, my God. Uh, those things are so fucking something. Well, something they go through your garbage. I don't know. I'm surprised I can read as much of that as I can. Coyote. I spent an hour doing all these fucking signs. What the fuck am I even doing with my life? Black Bear. Uh, something, something has been... Something, 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 Black Bear. Oh, wow, I, I actually can't read that one at all. <laughs> Possum. Harder, or... Hover, steadily, something, fast, AF, I, I don't know. I want that text to be a bit clearer. The pictures are nice, but the text is uh, smudgy. I'm not. I don't even know how I could even read that or that. But I was uh, able. I was, I was able to. At least 99% of it. Anyway, go through this tunnel here, and we are now inside of the Junior Science Building. You can tell by these colored windows here. But be careful. We are not alone. There's a lovely taxidermy mountain lion there. But yeah, watch out, we have a cannibal overseer who, wow, that was close. Oh, that was close too. Alright, you know what? You are pissing me off. Oh, yep, manslayer up there too. Let's go ahead and finish him off. And we'll give Mr. Manslayer the treatment he deserves. Goodbye. Boom! <laughs> it shattered as it fell down. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And you can open the doors to give yourself a little shortcut back outside. Alright. Get some more junk up here. Do not forget. And yep, that is definitely a taxidermied mountain lion. Cool looking model, too. All right, this door is locked. This switch opens or lowers the brief or the briefcase, the bookcase, to allow you to go ooh, through an underground tunnel of sorts. Hmm. Oh, a church, huh? Teen Dracula, Volume Two. That actually sounds kind of interesting. And we have cannibals in this here church. Well. Oh, good hit. These guys were single file enough, so I think the smack hammer could do its job. And we're just going to take cover. 
and let all these a-holes come to us. Give him a little flame shower. Now, don't uh, lose focus too much, because, yeah, we have an overseer as well as a manslayer amidst all these small fries. Gonna take care of him. There's the manslayer. Ooh, there we go. Awesome. And the overseer, yeah, he's all the way back there. Let's see if I can get him. Come on. Oh! Oh, uh-oh. Ooh, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gone. And so are you. Bitch. Alright. You want, you want some? Come get you some. Screw you and your little shield, too. Now, I do think I did manage to down that overseer over there. Uh, yep, I just see regular cannibals now, but there is another overseer. He's not in our immediate vicinity, though. I don't think. He should be way over there. But he did sound really close. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Are you from that building over there? You never come over here. Literally never. Alright, fair enough. It's a free wasteland. You can walk wherever you want. Just be prepared to die if you do. Oh, you just squished them roaches. Is he trying to infight some? Where is he going? I think he got hit by someone. He's trying to find him. Hey, you. You. Pink man. Yeah, he's definitely infighting with something. He just can't get to him. Oh, well. You can't always get what you want, kind sir. And we do have another manslayer that's idling somewhere. I can hear his chatter. Alright, I think everything here has been uh, collected. And you can open this train car for a bit of a shortcut. Back to here. Bless the Father, I ate a lizard. Church of St. Leibovitz. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to go from the... Uh, Diner, I guess, to what looks like another diner. The Desperado. Okay, who? Oh, how'd you get back there? Oh, how did you get back there? Where did all you guys come from? Well, oop, better to get him now instead of wait for later. Oh, goodness, okay. It's like that, is it? Yeah, this is actually the next area we have to go to, but not quite yet. There's a candle inside the Desperado. I think he's the one in the ticket window. Yeah, there you are. Hey. What do you want? What do you got? You ain't got shit. So, in that building, there's going to be your third secret, as well as some bug dogs and an overseer, if that overseer is not the one we saw earlier. It may not have been. Or, rather, it, it may have been. Let's find out. Wow, it was. So there's an overseer that hangs out in here, but he actually must have walked past all the bug dogs and all the way down to the diner over there. I have never seen him do that before. Yeah, we're seeing all kinds of firsts today. Um, Alright, well, I'm not going to get the third secret just yet. I want to explore the other buildings first. Um, so that is what we are going to do. Um, but before I do even that, I want to clear out the enemies in here. Because I don't want to hear them keep chattering to themselves. It's kind of weird. Oh! Okay, so there's a manslayer who's standing in here. So I bet that's the one that was in that side alley. Again, I have never seen him do that. He always... He's never able to leave that uh, kitchen area. And there should be an overseer up here. But watch him walk out, too, <laughs> at this rate. Nope, he's still in there. And now he's dead. Excellent. And then the roof... The roof here just leads to that, uh, yeah, that parking lot, which we will go to eventually. And there's actually secret number four in the parking lot. 
So we have at least two secrets here. Oh, a Wrecker. That's uh, another um, boomer shooter style game. I never noticed that before. Look at that. Yet another first. We are on a roll today. Absolute roll. Okay, where was I actually before I got all sidetracked and shit? I believe the Desperado, which I guess is supposed to be a casino, because there's, yeah, slot machines. Mancubo. Instead of Marlboro, it's Mancubo. Hey, I don't smoke, but I'd smoke them cigarettes. Alright, and if you go upstairs here, there's some more cool posters and arcade machines, but most importantly, two more pieces of junk. Yeah, they got some well-hidden junk here, so... You want to be as vigilant as you can. And let's see, let's go here now. Into the library. So, secret number three. And this one's a bit of an extended secret. You have to use this register here. Doing so will open this tiny piece of recessed wall here. Very, very... Uh, for a very, very short time. Um... And if you, if you don't get here in time and press the switch, you have to just open it again. Thankfully, it's not one-time use. But if you make it here in time and hit the switch, it lowers this Uberlock door here. Which, oh yeah, that's the brand of safe, by the way. Uberlock. I can't believe I forgot that. The one that we opened back in uh, the Flooded District. They had that uh, copy of Metro 2033 or whatever it was in there. Yeah, Uberlock. And we will be seeing more of those, but for now... Oh, first try. Look at that. Awesome. And yeah, where does this take us? Human bug dog mixed surprise. Meat clean and nice. Larry's meat store. Quality meats, all fresh, good prices. We stock liver. And it's playing the intermission music. Hello. Human. What are you doing in my store? Um, hi. Who are you? You must be Larry. Oh, this will be fun to voice act. <clears throat> the mutant levels his scattergun at you and growl or scowls, sorry. What are you doing here, human? Larry told you. Deliveries on Tuesday. Are you stupid? Uh I'm here to talk about those deliveries. Yep. He frowns in annoyance. Stupid humans. Meat deliveries on Tuesday. That was the deal. Why are you here? Go away. Yeah, I know. I'm actually here to buy something. He frowns heavily. Uh, what? You a customer? Wait, you eat meat as well now? Larry don't believe you. What exactly do you sell? He furrows his brow. Meat! Always meat! Wait, if you not hear about meat, how you find out about this place? His finger tightens over the trigger of the scatter gun. I'm confused. Are you selling meat or buying it? Yes, that was deal. Humans capture humans, sell humans to Larry, Larry give you stuff. Mutants also buy meat and give Larry more stuff to buy meat with. Larry is master of market synergy. Can't I just buy the weapons? With what? You have meat? We trade. If not, go get some. Why would Larry want to sell metal for metal? Metal everywhere. Stupid idea. How is it stupid? Scrap is fine as currency. He blinks at you several times. Eh? What you talking about? Everyone I know uses scrap. Scrap doesn't go bad after a few days. Meat does. What? Meat perfect currency! He starts counting on his fingers. Not affect by inflation. Renewable resource. Supply is same as demand. He runs out of fingers. Uh, But what if you get a competitor? What if someone else starts selling meat? Larry is already established business. Customer loyalty. Brand power. Everyone knows Larry's meat is the best meat. 
what if I started selling meat at a cheaper price? I'd ruin you. <laughs> no one wants your metal, human. Larry is master business mutant. You'll never outtrade me. I win, stupid human. Now buy or sell meat, or get out. Well, I actually messed that up. You're supposed to, uh... I think option one was what I should have gone with. You can actually talk him into selling you some stuff. Um, he has fuel for your uh, Master Blaster. He has, I think, shotgun shells, and he also has a pair of night vision goggles. Now, normally, you would have to pay 200 scrap for that, I believe, which I can't even afford anyway. But it's okay, because you'll find night vision goggles in a secret area in the next map anyway. So, this was just all for fun. Now, if you say... You know, this is a robbery, he'll unleash security on you and try to kill you. If you just leave, but still shoot or use your jackhammer, he will still unleash a horde of cannibals on you to try and kill you. And he himself will turn hostile. Now, he is not tagged as a kill, so even if you do kill him, despite the fact that he is trying to kill you at that point, he does not up your kill count, but his cannibal bodyguards do. So... You know, oh, ooh, okay, all right. You want up close and personal, do you? And you, Larry, you committed the worst sin of all. You hurt my feelings. And yeah, he doesn't drop anything. But uh, he also doesn't count as a kill, which is <laughs> a little bit funny. But yeah, that's what that is. It's a secret vendor, but you have to work your way through a dialogue tree, which I actually messed up for the first time, and I don't even know how long. I was afraid I was going to mess it up before that point, and didn't. But oh well, that's okay. We were not going to buy anything from him anyway, so no big deal. Um, but we are now ready to explore the parking lot area. And secret number four... Yeah, let's go ahead and get secret number four. So around this back alley here, or back... A road, I guess. Hop on top of this bus and strafe run through this window. Painkillers, a brute stem, piece of junk, and a 45 revolver. Very nice. Could come in handy. So the next secret is not going to be for a short while, I believe. I'm trying to remember. I know where the last secret is. Uh, secret 5. Oh, you know what? No, secret 5 is in this area, too. But it's not... Um, it, it will actually be for a short while, so... Don't worry about it just yet. For now, we shall just explore. And I believe that was the building we were in before. So what we want to do now... Hello? What in the hell? How are you all the way over there? Okay, that's another first. You're never active this early. Wow. Um... Man, enemies are on something this time. I don't know what, but it's something. So we're going to go back up through this building. Going to get on top of this roof here. Oh, he, he is... Look at that. He is ready for me. That's okay. Because... I was ready for you too. Yeah, normally he's right here. I don't know how we got aggroed so early. That's really strange. But, uh, yeah. Man. Watch me have my first death of the uh, playthrough here because all this crap is happening when it shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway. We're just going to hop from balcony to balcony now. Keep an eye out for any items. I don't think there are any. And once you get to this one, we can go inside. Go down here. There's some more junk and armor scraps. It looks like there should be a workbench here, but there's not. I mean, there kind of is one, but it's not the interactable kind. Blow up the barrels to cause a bit of a cave-in. Ooh, scary. And look at that. Glowing mushrooms, man. Whoa. Trippy. I have a feeling we'll be seeing more of those later on. But for now, let's not lose focus. Opening this door here leads you into a car wash, which actually is part of this parking lot area. Yep. This is what this uh, part of it is. 
But go back through here. Go inside this little cubicle city. With lots more goodies to get if you can afford the space, which I cannot for that, so we'll have to avoid that for now. And if you head upstairs, look out. We got company! Oh, oh hi there, bug dog. Bye there, bug dog. Oh, wow, that was nice. I blew up the uh, extinguisher with the Master Blaster. And the combination of splash damage from both of those is what finished them off. And then around here... Cannibals. Late cannibals. <laughs> Alright, now before we leave uh, here, we're going to hop on these crates for secret number five. Crouch walk your way into this vent. Climb up the ladder, and looky here. Oh yeah, a bag absolutely rife with ammunition. Which you are going to need, by the way, because uh, we have a pretty big fight coming up. And I'm not going to lie, this fight can be pretty scary. There's a lot of enemies and not a whole lot of cover. So... I'm going to keep the Master Blaster handy, I believe. But not for right now, in case I accidentally pull the trigger and hurt myself. Which would not be a fine way to start this. But now we're out on the other side of the parking lot. And here we are, a little concert venue. Ooh, Pain Elemental, they must be playing live. Well, something here is going to be happening live, but it's not no concert. Oh, no. No, sir. Instead, we have a fight. A big fight. We have a little bit of the everything here. Oh, yep. We have cannibals. We have an overseer or two. We have a couple manslayers. And we even have a cannibal master. Needless to say, whoa. Needless to say, keep those first aid kits handy. You're going to need them. If you can get the enemies to infight, do so. What I like to do is focus on the bigger threats first. Literally anything with a ranged attack must die first. Oh, that's okay. So the Manslayers, the Overseers, and the Master, of course, must all die as soon as possible. But it looks like the Cannibal Master is making his own enemies, so this should be fairly easy. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I almost ate those words. But I didn't. So that's that. Die. Whew. Oh, two more? Y'all want some too, huh? Come on, come get you some. And dead. And dead. Oh! Hi. Oh, you're the one that I de-shielded. Here. Take some bayonet bastard. Alright, well, that didn't go so bad at all, actually. Yeah, you can very easily find yourself uh, getting stuck on some geometry here and either get pinned by enemies or just be unable to dodge incoming fire and, uh, yeah. Not good. Also not fun. But that's okay. This fight is conquered. We only have a few enemies left. What's that, 25? I believe we're doing okay. I don't think we've missed anybody yet. So let's, uh... Let's head backstage. Why don't we? Oh no, the poster's gone. Man, this jackhammer upgrade is so good. And again, keep in mind, this is not, uh... <laughs> this is relatively new. Upgrading the jackhammer hasn't always been possible. Uh-oh. It's quiet. And some thunder rumbling in the distance. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Oh, we can climb on top of here, huh? Is there anything on here? Anything of interest? Or just a way to backtrack? I never thought about going behind here. Anything down there? Ammo? Health? Nothing? No? Mm, okay. Well, let us just, uh, oh. New radio frequency found, 27.185. Let's hear it. Ooh, a trap.
trap? I like traps. Pain Elemental Meatball Slaughter. Looks like a truck that Cannibal Corpse would drive. But anyway, looks like we have us a bit of a... a bit of an encounter coming up. But before we do that, secret number six. And this is the best secret of all. Throw this switch to open this door, and looky what we have in here. We've seen leather armor. We've seen metal armor. But we have yet to see... The Legendary Armor. Yeah. And yes, every time you find one, which I believe there's only like two, there's at least two suits, maybe three, you hear that little rock and riff. But yes, it is the Megasphere of Ash of the Ashes uh, TC. 200 health and armor. Now that would have been nice to have before the big fight, but that's okay. And look at this. We're back at the construction yard, but you can't open the gate. Okay. You just you just look inside it then? Eh, okay. A bit of a tease, but whatever. Uh-oh. We have a fight. Hey. Leave that poor man alone. God, it was a good idea to upgrade this thing now. Man, so nice. Oh, hello, sir. How you doing? I think everyone here is... Yeah, th th this one here is always separate from the group for whatever reason. I guess to catch you off guard. Who are you? Jack Miller. The man grins at you while clutching his stomach. Phew. Man, are you a sight for sore eyes. Name's Jack Miller, scavenger. I'm sure glad you showed up. I thought for a moment there I was dead meat. Friends of yours? What, these assholes? Nah. Just a bunch of low lowlifes. Glad we took care of them. Where did you come from, anyway? Didn't expect to see many travelers all the way out here. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know where here is. Wow, you really are lost. And on foot, too. Damn, son. Well, this is the Badlands, just north of the city. Junction is about five miles that way, he points west. And Prosperity is just beyond these mountains. Is that where you're headed? Maybe. Some raiders ambushed me and stole my bike. Oh, really? Well, I'm not a betting man, but I would strongly wager these mohawk pricks took it. They took over the old checkpoint just south of here. I tried to take my caravan through, but they opened fire. Wish the new guard was still here. New guard? Yep, bunch of real, genuine soldiers. Armed to the teeth, and they didn't shoot people for no reason. They used to run that checkpoint, even let us use the mountain road as a shortcut. I haven't seen any of them today, though. I hope those raiders didn't have anything to do with that. How do I get to that checkpoint? Just south of here. Head through that tunnel and it'll be a right, in or right in front of you. Fucking raiders. If there's any of them left up there, put a bullet in them for me, you hear? How do I get to Prosperity? Well, easiest way is straight over the mountain. But that's if the new guard troops are still here and will open the gate for you. Otherwise, you'll have to take the long way around. About a five mile walk. Not a good idea in this heat. The path up there is past the checkpoint. Where were you headed? I just came from Junction, headed to Prosperity. Guess I'll be going the long way now. Got crates full of fertilizer and seeds from up north to trade for scrap and water. Prosperity runs a water purifier plant. Cleanest water you'll ever taste, believe me. You're better off heading there. Mm, I better get moving. Don't worry about me. I'll meet you in Prosperity if I ever get this piece of shit moving again. I'll pay you back for helping out back there. Oh, and watch out for mutants. Heard an army of them pass through here about an hour ago. It was all over the radio earlier. Armies of mutants. Jesus Christ. Well, that's not foreboding at all. Whole army of mutants. How's my driving? 666. But yes, we helped out this uh, little lone wanderer here. Oh. Oh, you can get on top of the truck. Interesting. Anything up here? No? Okay. Just something cool to do. Well, let's see. I wager we're just about done. We got some bad guys left. And now the music started back up. Hmm. Well, you want some too? That's what I thought. Punk? 
Okay, seven more kills, 12 more items. So most of that, item-wise, is going to be inside here. Now, we could go through the door, but I feel like being a little sneaky. Peekaboo! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Ouch. I thought he was dead. That's okay. That was a direct hit, my god. 32 points of damage to my health and my armor. You ain't getting me this time. Alright, yep. We're gonna get all the kills. We have one left. And it's not this guy. Hey, take it easy, dude. We're all friend. Wait, it's you? But, but you're. Oh, ah, oh, crap. Let's uh, let's not get too hasty, huh? I'll I'll just leave, okay? You wouldn't shoot a guy in the back, right? You set me up, you son of a bitch. Whoa, it wasn't my idea, I swear. I'm just a puppet. Listen, dude, I'll tell you everything. Just think about it for a second. I, I mean, what good is killing me now? Am I right? <laughs> Will be a pretty big waste of effort and ammo, right? Start talking. Sure, man. Sure. Anything. I can tell you who took your bike, where they are, how to find them. Okay? And then we'll call this all, uh... Uh... J just a big misunderstanding, alright? Where's my bike? We sold it to this new gang. They call themselves the Roamers. We tried to join, but they said we need to offer, uh... Tributes? Wheels, ammo, fuel... We met one of their dudes, don't know his name. They took it to their camp, past the mountain. How do I find these roamers? Oh, that's easy. Just cross over the mountain. Head down the stairs, the entrance is behind the fence. It's like only a few miles east. But you can take Lucy, she can get you there. Who or what is Lucy? Oh, we bagged her from some merchant. She's a pit fiend matri... matri... Matriarchy? Like a mother? A big one. We call her the Bitch Fiend. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. She's kind of like an animal, but you ride her. Like those wheels, dude. Take her. Hell, you don't even have to call her Lucy. Call her whatever you want, man. Why are you working with the mutants? Hey, they're not so bad. Like, once you get to know them. I mean, they offer us guns and parts if we bring them fresh... Well, uh, never mind. It's a pretty sweet gig here. We've been robbing dumbass travelers and we get to... Uh, I should shut up now. Look, dude, I didn't want to get eaten. It was us or you. I had a briefcase with me. Orange one. Where is it? Briefcase? Beats me. The mutant said they wanted everything you was carrying. Everything. All we got was your sweet-ass wheels. I mean, we didn't put a scratch on her, honest. But that briefcase thing looked expensive. Maybe the mutants, like, sold it? I don't know, man. Really. Give me one good reason why you're worth my time. Shit. Okay. Well, let's not get so fucking excited. Uh, look, okay. Uh, we got some scrap. You scavs love scrap, right? There's a ton behind that door, next to the one you came in. I swear. We had some left over we was gonna trade. To take it. I mean it. Have the whole lot. My treat. <sighs> That's enough. I'm done here. Cool, dude. Cool. So, like, I guess I'll see you around, huh? You'll be going to go find your bike, kick some ass, yeah? I'll, like, go. Somewhere else. Like, a completely different fucking direction. Yep. Like, no hard feelings, right, dude? Yeah. You do that. Well, he's cooperative enough, and he also is not tagged as a kill, hence why there's only one kill left, and I said beforehand, he is not the kill. But, oh my, 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 look at all this junk. Lovely. Now, there is at least one first aid kit we had to skip, so that's one of the items we missed. The other one is probably also a first aid kit. Oh, so that must be Lucy. She's pretty cool looking. Now, we can ride her and attack the uh, bandit waiting for us outside, but... I prefer the old school way. But yeah, that's it. We're done with this map. All the kills, all the secrets, only two missed items, at least one of which is a first aid kit. Possibly both of them, but um, yeah. I'm going to call that a win. 
Ride him, doggy. Ride him indeed. So yes, this is Lucy, the Pit Fiend Matriarch. That's what he was trying to say. And you can use the primary fire button to make her spit an acid glob, or hit the uh, alt fire button to make her do a jumping, like, leaping scratch attack, which is pretty cool. You're not really going to attack much with her uh, at all, really, for me. I just use her as a quicker way to get around. Ooh, nature walk. I could use that after this. That's for damn sure. But yeah, let's uh, get the hell out of here. And we're out of there. So that was Badlands South. And yes, this is the first map and I think the last two that wasn't separated by a bunch of epilogue, uh, epilogue text. So you can actually go back to Badlands South if you want to. Whereas you could not go back to the rink from Badlands South and you could not go back to Escape from Atlanta from the rink because both of those maps ended with epilogue text. I mean, you can go back there by reloading a previous save or using the console, but not like a, you know, non-cheating and traditional way. But yeah, <clears throat> it's going to be another long one. Thankfully, this next map is very, very short. But it does have a nice little... Mm, a treat at the very end, which we will see next time. But yeah, that was Badlands South. Man, two big maps in a row. Let me tell you, those maps... They're not terribly hard, but they have some parts where you can very easily get caught sleeping. Like that one part where I got plugged with a shotgun at point-blank range because I was stupid and stopped firing before I was out of bullets. Or without making sure he was dead. I think I had my eye on the ammo count because I was afraid I was going to run out and like, I would take cover to reload and then kill him after that. But I, I just looked the, at the count. I just let the bullets fly. I didn't let them fly for long enough. That was my fault. But, yeah, so... Mutants working with raiders. They took my bike. They took my briefcase. So now I have no briefcase, albeit I do have my stuff back. Ooh, pardon me. And I also got a nice new set of wheels, or should I say legs, in the form of Lucy here, the pit fiend matriarch. Well, I'm sure she and I will get to be best buddies. But anyway, this is going to be yet another really long video, my goodness. But that was Badland South. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night, and I will see you next time when we tackle this much, much shorter map. But what surprises may await us here? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? But until that time comes, I will see you all when I see you. Bye-bye.